back to another episode of Dimitra's Dishes. Today we're going to be making kotos about golemono. That translates to a lemony chicken soup. And today I'm going to show you how to make it two different ways. Now, lemony chicken soup is the most popular soup in Greek cuisine. It's very well known in America too. I feel like everybody knows it and it's almost everyone's favorite because it's so flavorful and zesty with the lemons and it's creamy even though there's no cream in it. And it's hearty because it's either made with rice or orzo. And that brings me to the point of how we're gonna make it two ways. The first way I'm gonna teach you how to make it is with the entire eggs. We're gonna use the whites and the yolks and I'm gonna cook it with rice because that's very traditional. And then the second soup, I'm gonna show you how to make it my favorite way no whites, just the eggs. It's velvety, it's luxurious, and it's super creamy and silky. And I'm gonna cook it with orzo pasta just to give it a little bit more silkiness because pasta is a little creamier than rice, if that makes any sense. Both ways are delicious. Both ways are loaded with flavor. The reason that I prefer the second way with just the yolks is because the consistency of the soup is very smooth. The whites, it's still very flavorful. It's just as rich but it does tend to have a little bit of a separated look to it and some people like it and some people don't. I'm gonna leave it up to you but I am gonna show you both ways. We're gonna begin with making the rice version and the full eggs. Let's go over those ingredients and then we'll start making it. We're gonna need some black peppercorns, a little pinch of turmeric, some salt, lots of water. We need more water than this. Fresh lemons, whole eggs, arborio rice or you can use whatever rice you have a whole chicken and I also have a chicken neck and spine left over from another recipe that I never used an onion celery carrots and some garlic cloves we're gonna begin by making the stock so in a stock pot or in a large pot you're gonna put the whole chicken the carrots the celery the garlic cloves the onion the chicken neck and spine some salt, so two teaspoons of salt, a little bit of turmeric, time to buy a new bottle, some black peppercorns, and lots and lots of cold water. We're gonna bring this to a boil. Once it comes to a boil, we're gonna reduce it to a low heat, and we're gonna let it cook for about one to one and a half hours, or until the chicken is fully cooked, and keep skimming the froth that, that rises to the top and discard that. So the chicken has been simmering for an hour and a half and it is cooked and ready to be taken out. I'm gonna take out the chicken, the vegetables, and then I'm gonna pass the soup through a strainer to catch any little bits and pieces that are in there because you want the broth to be perfectly clean. Remove as much of the meat from the chicken as you want to put inside of your soup. It's totally up to you. You can put the whole thing in there if you like it really hearty and chunky, but I don't like to put the whole thing. Half of a chicken is good enough for me. I like to save the other half for chicken salad sandwiches, or you can put it on top of salad, but it does make for amazing chicken salad sandwiches. I'm gonna add the meat to the soup. Now all I did was I put the broth, the strained broth back into the soup without any of the vegetables. I strained all those out. And then I finally chopped some baby carrots, a cup full of them. So I'm gonna add those in as well. I also have a cup of rice. Arborio rice, which is the rice that's used for risotto, is best because it's a starchy rice and it naturally thickens the soup and makes it ultra luscious and creamy. But if you have basmati rice, go ahead and do that. It's gonna be a little bit lighter. Now we're gonna bring this to a boil and we're gonna cook this over medium heat until the rice is completely cooked. That's gonna take about 15 minutes. In the meantime, I'm gonna juice the lemons. You can put, make this as lemony as you want. I like mine really lemony, so I'm gonna put at least a half a cup of fresh lemon juice. Always use fresh lemon juice, that bottle stuff is good for cleaning, not for putting into food. The lemon juice is ready, now I'm gonna separate the eggs. I have eight eggs here. I'm gonna put the whites in one bowl and the yolks in the other. So now I'm just gonna beat up the egg whites, just until they're frothy. I'm gonna add the egg yolks to the whites and beat those really well. That's good to go. Now I'm gonna add the lemon juice. I'm not gonna add all of it. I'll leave a couple of tablespoons behind because if the lemon is a little too tart and too lemony, then you can't take lemon out, but you could always make it extra lemony and put more lemon in. So I'm just gonna whisk this all together. This is a half a cup of lemon juice in right now. And I'm just gonna wait till the rice is cooked and nice and tender. I also wanna mention that I did add a little bit of salt for the rice, about half a teaspoon. Once the rice is done, we're gonna temper the eggs and the soup is gonna be ready. 
So the rice is cooked, it just took 15 minutes for that to happen. And now you could definitely use the carrots that you boiled in the beginning with the stock. The only thing is, I like for the vegetables, whatever vegetables you're using in soup, to have a little bit of a, a freshness to them, a little bit of a crispness to them. That's why I put fresh carrots in there. So I'm gonna take, now we're gonna add, before we add the avgolemono sauce, the egg lemon sauce to the soup, we're gonna have to temper it, which all that means is we're gonna put some of the hot broth into the egg lemon sauce so that way we can temper it which means to bring up the temperature so that way when we add it back into the soup or into the soup i should say it's gonna it's not gonna curdle and become scrambled eggs it's gonna make it nice and smooth and just luxurious i'm gonna take a few spoonfuls of the stock and add it to the egg lemon sauce mix it up now don't add this uh, egg lemon sauce back in until you don't feel the ball the bowl <laughs> until you don't feel the bowl begin to become warmer. One or two more ladlefuls will be perfect, even though I do feel that it's already beginning to become nice and warm. Now I'm gonna add this into the pot and mix everything all together. We're gonna heat this through for about five minutes over medium heat. Then I'm gonna give it a taste to see if it needs more seasoning and the soup will be ready. Oh, that's so good. To me, it's good. I'm just gonna put a little pinch of salt and I want it a little more lemony, so I will go ahead and add the rest of this lemon juice. There are a few seeds in there, so I'll catch those with my hands. And I'm just gonna let that warm through a little bit. It's gonna thicken up just a tiny bit. If you want it a little bit thicker, you can go ahead and mix a tablespoon of cornstarch with some cold water, whisk it all together until it's nice and smooth, and then put it into the pot and cook it for about five minutes or so, and the soup will become a little bit thicker. This is the lighter version though, so I'm not gonna do that today. Now we're gonna make the second way, which is using the yolks. Let's go over those ingredients. We're gonna need some chicken stock, just like we made before. Then we're gonna need some water, orzo pasta, half a cup of orzo pasta is good, some diced carrots, a little bit of dill, olive oil, a heaping tablespoon of cornstarch, and this is what it looks like. This is what a heaping tablespoon looks like. Four eggs, some shredded cooked chicken, and fresh lemon juice. So I'm making half a batch of what I made before, not the full thing because we, don't, we already have some leftover soup, so I'm just doing half a batch. So I'm gonna add the shredded chicken to the stock. I'm also gonna add the carrots. Once it comes to a boil, I'm gonna go ahead and add the half a cup of orzo pasta. Of course, you could substitute rice instead. Half a cup of rice will do as well. I'm also gonna season it with half a teaspoon of salt, and I'm gonna let it boil for eight minutes until it's tender but still al dente. And then after that, we're gonna move on to making the sauce. While the orzo is cooking, we're gonna go ahead and make the egg lemon sauce. So in a bowl, I'm gonna put the cornstarch and I'm gonna dilute it with a little bit of water until it's smooth. And I'm gonna go ahead and add the cornstarch to the egg yolks along with the lemon juice. Now I like to add lots and lots of lemon juice to my lemony chicken soup. I like it very lemony and I always use fresh lemon juice. So I have eight cups of stock boiling here. So I'm gonna start with a quarter cup of lemon juice and you can always add more. So if you wanna start with less and then see if you like it more lemony, you could always add more lemon juice. So I'm gonna just whisk this all together with a little bit of olive oil. Just a tablespoon or two will be fine. And I'll put a little bit of dill in here. Half a teaspoon of dried dill should be good. And just whisk it all together. And now I'm gonna temper it, which means I'm gonna raise the temperature of the eggs so when they're added to the soup, they do not curdle or turn, or turn to scrambled eggs. So I'm gonna take some of the hot stock, whisk it all together, and then I'm gonna add a little bit more. Keep adding stock until the bowl, the bottom of the bowl feels warm. That's how you know it's good. Four ladlefuls will do the trick. And as soon as the pasta is ready, I'm gonna add this egg lemon sauce into the pot and I'm gonna let it warm through on low heat for three to five minutes until the soup is nice and thick. Then I'm gonna taste it and adjust the seasoning. If you wanna add some pepper, you can add some white pepper if you have it. A little bit of black pepper will be fine. I just don't like a lot of specks of black in the soup. I like it to stay nice and yellowish. So if it needs more seasoning, go ahead and add it and then it's gonna be ready to serve. So the soup is ready and what I love about this soup, whether you're doing the four eggs, just the yolks, the rice or the orzo, is that you can make an express version of this. Now the express version of this is gonna be in the written recipe on the blog, so you're gonna to wanna to go on over there, DemetriusDishes.com, to print this recipe and on there will be all of the tips and tricks and things that I use so that way you can make the soup at home, whether you wanna make from the beginning with homemade chicken stock or with some store-bought stock. Everything is on there. I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna take a taste because I just can't wait, it smells so good. Oh my God.
So comforting. The perfect amount of lemon juice. The orzo is also perfectly cooked. The thickness is perfect. It's nice and smooth and velvety. This is honestly my favorite way to make it. If you like your soup a little bit thicker, keep in mind that it is gonna thicken up as it sits because the orzo in there does like to absorb moisture. So if you like it a little bit thicker than what it is right now, you can definitely add a teaspoon more cornstarch in a cup and add some water to it. Make sure that you thin it out before you add it to the soup. Add it to the soup, warm it through until it thickens to your liking. And go ahead, serve this with some pita chips, some toasted bread, however your heart desires. Again, print the recipe on the website, DemetrisDishes.com. Let me know what you think in the comments section down below. Thank you guys so much for spending time with me today. I will see you all next time. Yes, us.